Hi everybody, English Bob here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is entitled the Windows Terminator. So, so far on the channel, you've seen I've focused on two distributions. Um, if you've got a PC that's five years old or newer, then my heartily best recommendation if you want to try Linux is go with Ubuntu. Ubuntu's got really good hardware compatibility and is your best shot at having a good experience on a newer PC with Linux. If you're like me, a hopeless Linux fanboy, then I would heartily recommend my beloved PC Linux OS. For a computer of pretty much any age, except the very latest cutting edge PCs. Last but not least, what about all the rest of the PCs. What about all the people who have got a PC who is five years or older and is not compatible to upgrade to Windows 11 and who knows maybe Windows 12 in the future. So therefore they're absolutely stuck with using Windows 10 until Windows 10 is end of life and no more. What on earth would I recommend and offer to these people? Very simple. Zorin OS 16.2 Lite. Believe you me, this operating system, which again is built and based off Ubuntu, so it's going to have great hardware back compatibility with all your different PC combinations out there. It's super fast and super lightweight. There are lighter distros out there than Zorin OS. There are arguably more fully featured distros out there than Zorin OS Lite. But believe you me, there's not a distro on the planet that is this light and has this level of polish. It's absolutely delightful. Now, for all those Windows users out there that want to come over to Linux but don't want to learn the Linux way, Zorin OS Lite is categorically worth having a look at it looks like windows it has the polish and the quality of a windows operating system and it's instantly familiar you have your little start menu down the bottom here um, you have all your uh, familiar known software settings all your apps are stalled in a nice, simple, straightforward stacked menu, which is familiar to anybody and everybody on the planet who's ever used a Windows operating system. Just click on the group that you want and click on your program, you're done. If you don't want to get in um, to the terminal, you don't want to get into keyboard shortcuts, you just want to install an operating system that's by and large going to be pretty compatible with your older PC that doesn't have all the downsides of a Windows operating system. Do I really need to say again, you know, the key loggers, the spyware, the gazillion background processes and one that will fly on your PC. It will allow you to do all your internet stuff, um, all your media, watch all your movies with consummate ease, even with a really low spec PC. You'll still have a wonderful experience on Zorin OS Lite 16.2 for sure. Now, this operating system's drawback is very simple. It's only available on 64-bit. There's no 32-bit version available for it. But then again, I'm guessing if you're using a 32-bit computer in you know, mid-2023, there are other options of operating systems out there that you can run, but maybe it's time you treated yourself to a really cheap 64-bit PC because that opens the door to a wealth of operating systems which at the minute you don't have access to because of the 32-bit limitation. I'm not going to do a full tour and run round of Zorin OS Lite because I've already told you everything you need to know. It's simple and easy to install. It's an absolute piece of cake to update. It's all software uh, app driven. So all you've got to do is scroll down to your software manager. Uh, it's just here, sorry. Click on that. All your software is available from a simple software manager. It's actually the GNOME software manager. But this um, 
desktop for those of you that are wondering is xfce it's very very polished very lightweight and very fast um and it will give you a wonderful experience if you're coming over from windows 8 or windows 10 um onto linux for the first time all your apps are in there um you've got literally access to everything from um straight out of the repository apps to snaps is available by default out the box flat hub is available out the box by default zorin os Lite really does have your back covered every bit of software you could want is in here with the exception of the usual adobe photoshop or microsoft office you know apart from that everything else is literally available there's nothing you can't do on this on this operating system great hardware compat compatibility it's not full of bloatware uh, and full of stuff you're never going to use it does come with a pdf viewer and the full libre office suite so all your office needs are pretty much covered right out the box or you can always use an online one if you want to use this as a pure cloud-based operating system you can of course install google chrome um, install geforce now and do AAA cloud gaming as well even without an inbuilt graphics card or an external graphics card i should say you will need an inbuilt one um but for me that would be my three choices that has you covered if you've got a pc less than five years old go for ubuntu if you've got a pc that's older than five years old go for zorin os 16.2 light and if you want to be an absolute nut job like me go for pc linux os those are my three recommendations for this channel please let me know if you've tried zorin os 16.2 light let me know your feedback what you think of it and hey if we do get windows users find this channel uh, by accident and they watch this video please post underneath any questions or um, issues that you may have with dumping your windows 8 or 10 and coming over to linux thanks for watching everybody please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up or down i will see you for another wicked english bob video